Good day and thank you for checking out the My Church app. Just to quickly show you, the application loads to a sermons page and on the sermons page you get a sermon when you click inside it. The concept here is to have a whole bunch of different episodes for a particular church series and as you can see this one here has got three episodes and if I click into any one of them there is a particular video or audio linked to that particular sermon or video series. When I click back, I've got other sermons and services I can click to go inside and all of these are dynamically added, editable and deleted through the admin panel. So you can add a whole bunch of other sermons and videos and series dynamically in the admin panel and they'll show up on your application. I'll click on events next and once again also all this information here as well as adding more events is dynamically done through the admin panel including calendar events also times and dates and calendar events are created using the admin panel and they'll dynamically work within the application as well as the maps also are added dynamically through the admin panel next i'll click on bible and i'm basically just referencing the uh, U version bible here but you can add your own bible or your own devotionals and so on Next is the news page and here is just basically meant to showcase or show any news that are happening within your church and once again this is all dynamically added through the application so you can add in a whole bunch of news articles that you want and also use a social sharing and the social sharing notes are also dynamically added so you can put in whatever notes you want within your social shares. And that's it for the news section and then we've got the more section which has an about us branches leaders ministries connect with us giving music and get social now the whole concept behind this here is to just have more information about the church so when you click about us it just shows information about us and i'll go and then click on the next one our branches now this is pretty cool because you can add a whole bunch of branches here that you church has and you can dynamically add this obviously but also when you click on any branch it shows up a map where your branch is located and this is all dynamically done within the admin panel so you can add as many branches as you want and then just set them up in the admin panel and it show up in your application the leader section is meant to show the leaders in the church so you can have a whole bunch of different leaders here and then when you click on a button here it then goes to their Twitter page so something like that, but I'll head back to the application and let's head to our ministries. Now here you can have a whole bunch of ministries and once again dynamically added in the application and when you click on any ministry it then gives you more details. Let's head to uh, connect with us just for people that wanting to connect with the church and all the images that you're seeing here and everything else is all dynamically added within the application. Uh, the giving page nothing pretty much there different from the uh, connect with us page and the inspirational music page was just meant to create a place whereby if there's any if there are any songs that you want your church to know or to learn you can just put them up here as well as audio so that is the inspirational music part let's head back and the get social part is just uh, to connect with your audience socially social media and you can add in your own social media platforms here and then when you click on any one of these for example vimeo it should then take you to your social media platform so that's it for the app and i hope you guys enjoyed cheers